Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Divine and in today's video I'd like to share with you my best tools to help you stay sane during this time or rather throughout your entire life. I have applied a lot of these tools throughout the years so if you are listening to this I want you to pick just one or two tools that you can use today or this week in order to um, apply a few of them and help your uh, mental health, your emotional health basically to help you stay sane. And also know that these are actually coping mechanisms. Most of the tools that I'm going to share are coping mechanisms, which means they don't really create resolution, but they create a temporary relief, which is actually really beneficial in specific moments in time. But keep in mind that if you are overwhelmed, that you are triggered. And if you are triggered, there's something that you need to listen to, something that you need to pay attention to, and to something that you need to create a resolution with. So keep that in mind. Also, if you are dealing with anxiety or burnout symptoms, then these tools can also really help you out. So the first thing that I wanna share with you is to do shadow work. If you are overwhelmed, then you are triggered. And if you're triggered, you wanna deal with that distress. What you need to do is to allow whatever it is that you're feeling so that your emotions can process. So if you are super overwhelmed, then you can also allow yourself to actually break down if that is appropriate for you, if that is what you actually need. That breaking down or crying, which is a natural release, can actually help you release all the tension, all the stress that you have been building up throughout your week, month or life even. So shadow work is not a coping mechanism. Shadow work is actually creating resolution with the distress that you are experiencing. So if you're new to shadow work, you can get my free shadow work guide below and you can get started on this work so that you can actually deal with the distress that you are experiencing without it coming back. So um, get into shadow work if you are super overwhelmed and um, you need to like come back to yourself. Okay, the second thing that you want to try is if you are super overwhelmed, you want to imagine in your mind's eye to snap your fingers and freeze up the world. You can actually visualize the world just stops moving. And most likely we have been talking to a lot of people. We ha our attention has been on the outside instead of on the inside. So in the moment that you visualize the world freezing up, in my opinion, your attention goes back to yourself and that actually creates a lot of um, relief already. Uh, you can do this wherever you are, maybe somewhere in the middle of the street if you're feeling overwhelmed. Maybe you do it when you are working or maybe at the end of your day when you are meditating. So try that out. I really like it and um, it's super quick and easy. The next thing that you want to try if you are super overwhelmed, you want to get in touch with your breathing and observe your breath. You can do a basic easy breathing exercise. You can just observe the breath naturally or deepen the breath and that's going to help you come back to yourself and center you and also ground you. So don't underestimate your focus on your breath. You can also try exercises online from the Iceman if that's something that you're into, but you can also try yoga breathing exercises. I am personally using something that is called Elo Moves and online you can find that. Um, it's called the breath sequence. Elo Moves is actually just for yoga practices and other workouts, but there's also something that is called the breath sequence and that's something that I really like. It's about a 20 to 25 minute breathing exercises without much of a break. I personally really like this practice and it might take some stamina before you are able to go through the whole sequence, but it's really calming, really relaxing. So come back to the breath if you're feeling overwhelmed. The fourth thing is to meditate. If you're not meditating yet, try a five minute meditation in the morning or in the evening or both. But if you're super new, try five minutes once a day and then slowly build it up. And just observe your thoughts, just observe your emotions. And that's all that I want you to focus on at first. Later on, you can increase the timing and you can um, do it more times a day if you like. But observing your thoughts and observing your emotions is so helpful for all of this overwhelm in your mind. 
and you can try different types of meditation. You can do guided meditations, you can do meditations with just relaxing music, or you can just do it without and just meditate by focusing on your breath and just observing. The next tool that you want to try out if you are super overwhelmed and you can't relax your nervous system, you want to practice some yin yoga. It's a restorative practice of yoga, which is a practice where you hold a posture between three to five minutes and sometimes longer. And it is really helping your nervous system relax and your attention is focused on your body. So if you're super overwhelmed in your mind and you're able to do some exercises focused on the body, you can actually relax the mind because your attention is on some type of an uncomfortable stretch in your body. I do have a few yin yoga practices on my channel, you can check that out. It might look very boring yin yoga, but when you're in the posture, I promise you it's very entertaining. Um, the stretch can be very uncomfortable, make sure you're not too far into a posture, but it can help to relax your mind and your body. If your mind is relaxed, your body is relaxed and vice versa. And I wanna share with you one posture that is super relaxing, which is called legs up the wall. So if you wanna do one posture, do legs up the wall. You just lay down on your back, lift up the hips on a pillow or a bolster, and then lift up the legs towards the sky and just lay there and the posture will do the work for you. It's super calming. Um, I notice that my breathing is relaxing in that posture and even if you have anxiety or something, I find that that posture is super helpful. So check out yin yoga as a great tool to help you calm down and relax. And I'm super excited about the next thing, which is called yoga nidra. This uh, practice might take you a few sessions to really get used to the relaxation and really get into this zen state, but you really want to give this a try. So it's basically a longer Shavasana. Shavasana is something that you do at the end of a yoga class. I personally guide my students through a short body scan. A yoga nidra practice is a longer body scan. So it basically is guiding you through all the body parts, like your right thumb and your second finger and your third finger and so on and so on. So you're basically guided again with your mind to focus on your body. After that, you are going to focus on images and visualize those images. And if you get in a really relaxed state, you will notice that zen-like state between your body and your mind. And like I said, it might take a few sessions to really get into that zen-like state, but it's super relaxing if you are um, super overwhelmed and it can actually help you get less sleep if you do a yoga nidra practice. So this is something that really have helped me with my anxiety, with feeling um, in fight or flight, not being able to sleep, you can try a yoga nidra practice. Also keep in mind that you need to find a practice that you like. It might depend on the voice that is guiding you or the script. So search online, try something out that you like. And yeah, I hope this can help you relax yourself as well. So these are my favorite relaxing tools, but I wanna add a few others that I wanna remind you of, which are very important. So if your nervous system is on high alert, you can actually make sure to get a hug by someone because physical touch can actually release tension and anxiety. Um, so make sure you have physical contact, someone that can hug you. You can hug yourself, but it's different if someone else is hugging you. So get someone out there to hug you. And if you can, daily. So, and that brings me to the next point. If you are super overwhelmed, you want to talk to friends, family, maybe even a psychologist or a therapist. Even if you do a session like that, you're basically paying a person to listen to you. That's actually what it is. Express yourself to people that can actually listen to you and hold space for you so that you can actually share your issues, your problems and the things that are going through your mind. And if there's no one around, you can also do some journaling exercises. I have three different ways of journaling. The first one is to just write down all of your thoughts and it doesn't matter if it is super unstructured, it doesn't matter. You just wanna write all the thoughts down that you have to just get everything on paper. And what I noticed that in your mind, things seem so big, but when they are on paper, you can actually see it for what it really is and it's just one sentence and it's not so big anymore. And you can also try a worry journal. If you are worrying, 
you are already in resistance. If you're worrying about worrying, you're in resistance mode. That is actually going to be the thing that's going to attract the worry. So writing down your worries doesn't have to be uh, something to worry about because you're basically releasing the resistance by writing it down. So what I personally like to do so now and then is to just write I worry about and then just write everything down that is on your mind. And don't try to do that in the morning or in the evening, but somewhere during the day to basically get everything out on paper. Um, so that really helped me to release the worries that might be overwhelming you. And also if you are super overwhelmed and you're thinking too much about the future or the past, um, you want to think about a short term list. Like what are things that you are looking forward to today, maybe tomorrow or this week, but don't think about the future too much because that is going to bring anxiety and going to um, overwhelm you. So write down a list of short term goals or things that you want to do. I also want to remind you how powerful it is to take a walk outside. There's something about nature, the open space that can really help you relax. It can be really mindful if you're walking alone. Um, and that's also my next point is to get some time alone. If you're super busy every day, focus on the external, focus on other people. At the end of your day, make sure you have some time for yourself, like listen to yourself. Uh, you can do the meditation and you can do the breathing exercises if you like, but spend some time with yourself if you're super overwhelmed and don't get on social media if you're super overwhelmed. Um, you might actually want to try to delay the time that you are going to start with social media. So maybe that's 3 p.m. or 5 p.m. Um, before you check your social media accounts. Why? Because it's really helpful if you can delay the amount of impulses that you have throughout your day. So if it's only at the end of the day, you have less impulses and so you feel less overwhelmed. So try that one out as well. We got two more. Don't underestimate the power of music. Um, listen to relaxing music or music that makes you feel great and good and happy and safe. It's really important. But music can pass the brain. So if you're overwhelmed, you can listen to some calming music. You can check out Healing Vibrations, uh, which is really nice for calming high frequency music. So you might want to check that out. I really enjoy cozy chimes. I really enjoy the singing bowls. And um, there's something that's called uh, with rain sticks. I really like that as well. Just put it on on the background and see how fast you can relax. And the last thing that I want to share is to use something like lavender oil, CBD oil, or something like chamomile tea. These are plants that can help your nervous system relax. They are there for you. Make sure you get some high quality essential oils um, that you can actually put on your skin, but they are there for you. You can use them to your benefits and they can help you relax as well. So these are all the tools that can help me stay sane during this time or rather just throughout my entire life. These are tools that I have applied throughout the years and these are the ones that I come back to every time. So let me know if you're going to try a few of these tools um, today or this week. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel and you will see me in the next one. Bye for now and namaste.